Okay, this demo is the first in a series of three uh, that demonstrates using Power CD Plus G Burner, Pilot Songbook Creator, and Siglos Karaoke Professional for importing your karaoke CD Plus G discs into a digital format for uh, running a digital based karaoke show. This first demo is going to demonstrate the rip process to using the Power CD Plus G Burner software to rip your karaoke CD Plus G discs to your hard drive. As you can see, we already have the software open, so we're going to we're going to click rip. And then we're going to click we've already inserted the disk, so we're going to click refresh, which will bring up the track list. It downloads the track list from an online database known as the FreeDB. Uh, not every disk will be in that database, but the majority of them are. Uh, when the disk is in the database, you'll see the the song titles here. What you will want to do is click Select All to uh, select all the tracks because you want to rip every track on the disc. And in the interest of time, we're just going to rip the first four tracks just to demonstrate how this works. Okay, the uh, the next part to look at is the Output folder. We recommend ripping each disc in your collection to its own folder on your hard drive and to name that folder the uh, the disk number that you want to use in your song list or your song book so we're going to we're going to go ahead and uh, do that okay we've already created two folders on the hard drive for the first two disks that we're going to demonstrate 01 and 02 but you could just as easily make a new folder here, right here during this process. You don't have to do it ahead of time. But we're going to put this in 01. And that will become the disk number that we use. You can uh, name the folders however you like. You can use any disk number naming convention you'd like. The output file name na mask, you're, you're going to want to leave the default in most cases. And this just simply specifies how the song will be named on your hard drive when it's ripped. The output format, I recommend using the zip format for this process. Uh, the other uh, formats are also an option depending on what you plan to do, but in most cases the zip format is best. And then we'll click rip. That's going to rip these uh, just these first four tracks to the, the 01 folder in the karaoke folder on my hard drive. You can also rip tracks to an extra Internal hard drive or a thumb drive or, or any any uh, storage location that your computer has access to. After this, these first four tracks are complete. We'll, we'll rip one more disc, uh, just so you can see how uh, how that to the transition from one disc to another works. You can see that uh, it rips at maximum reading speed. It rips fairly quickly. Uh, a disc of about 18 to 20 tracks figure about four to six minutes to uh, to rip entirely. Okay, so the first disc is now complete. So we'll go ahead and click the eject button, and uh, that will open your uh, CD drive to the uh, to ex be able to remove the disc and insert the next one. After a few seconds, uh, it takes a few seconds for Windows to recognize that you've inserted a disk into your drive. So we'll give it a, a couple of seconds. Uh, usually, depending on how your computer is configured, you'll see the autoplay window, which presents you with a number of options that you could use for what to do with the disk you just inserted. In this case, we're just going to close that window. And then we're going to click the refresh button. And then the process is exactly the same as it was for the first disk. Uh, the output folder, we're going to want to put this on O2. So we'll find O2. Oops. And click OK. And all the other settings will remain the same, so we're just going to click RIP. Okay, it's going to follow the exact same process to rip these next four songs. 
we're going to let that uh, continue. The next uh, step in the process will be to use the Pilot Songbook Creator software to import all of these songs into its database. And the, the next demo in this uh, series will demonstrate how to do that and also discuss a little bit about why you want to do that. And the final demo in this series will, will demonstrate importing the uh, final songs into the Siglos Pro database, which is what you'll use to actually run your karaoke shows. Okay, you can see the rip has completed for the, the two discs in this demo. That concludes this demo.